I picked up one of these relatively cheap solar panels off of Amazon so that I could see if it will help with uh, keeping my battery charged in a vehicle that I have a tendency to leave it sit for three, four weeks at a time. It came with the charging cables that you can just connect directly to a battery and it also came with a cigarette lighter adapter. I've heard a lot of reviews on Amazon that the LED people complain will drain the battery down. Unfortunately I didn't see a need to test it because it doesn't fit in any of my vehicles. I wasn't aware there was a different size one but it's not compatible so I was a little disappointed in that. comes with four suction cups that you can stick it to the windshield and it also has tabs on the back um, that'll let you slip it over a visor. So I'm going to take it outside, hook it up for a number of hours, do some data logging, and see how it performs. This is going to be my setup for testing the solar panel. I've just got it sitting at an angle. Shouldn't be obstructed by any shadows. I have my two multimeters here, one that's going to be measuring current and one that's going to be measuring the voltage. Right now I have it open circuit and we can see I'm getting almost 21 volts open circuit. I'm going to be running it through <clears throat> 50 ohms of resistance. So when I connect it You can see right now we're getting 0.2 amps at 11.1 .1 volts and I'm going to set it to log every minute on each meter for the next five hours and I'm going to pull the data and see what kind of watt output this panel provides. So here's the data in watts versus time over the five hours that I ran the solar panel and data logged. You can see that I started in the morning and it started out relatively low, went up, got about four watts bumping close to that for a little while there at different points and then it tapered off as the sun went down on the other side. What I took with this information is I wanted an idea of how well it will maintain a battery. So over the course of the five hours, I got 15.3 watt hours of energy that came out of the solar panel. And if I want an idea if that's going to be enough to maintain the battery, I would measure the parasitic load on the truck or the car that I'm going to be installing it on. And for this example, I just used 30 milliamps figuring that it's at about 12.8 volts area. You could say a little higher, a little lower, depending on what the battery is resting at. I get that the vehicle itself, in this case, would be draining 0.384 watts. Over the course of a day, that would give me a little over 9 watt hours of energy that's being taken out of the battery just sitting there. This doesn't take into account any of the internal loss in the battery because it will slowly discharge but it does give a ballpark. If you're interested in seeing how to measure the parasitic drain of a vehicle I have a different video on it and I'll link it in down below. But looking at this it tells me if I had an average of these five hour days when it's sunny it could be partly cloudy and it would probably give me a little more than five hours this panel would more than likely be able to keep up with the actual drain on the vehicle, but it will probably be a low enough rate that I don't have to worry about putting in a charge controller. That's the one thing about this panel is that there is no limiting on the current or on the voltage. So if the battery gets fully charged, theoretically it could actually have the voltage go up above that 14 volt area and you could boil over the battery but the panel is so small and you can see that as long as it's connected to a vehicle that has some sort of draw 
it's more than likely just going to hold it in the same place or slowly discharge, if anything, but a lot slower than without the panel. So as a whole, I would say this isn't a half bad panel. Obviously, it doesn't come anywhere near to the 7.5 watts rated, but I don't think a lot of these panels actually meet their rating. And I also didn't try to focus it directly at the sun um, and get a maximum rating out of it. I was more interested in what it would possibly do in more of a practical application. Hopefully you found this interesting. And if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.